We have breaking news. So the breaking news is Jeff Okuda has been traded to the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons are giving them a 2023 fifth round draft pick for the rights to Jeff Okuda. The former third overall pick a few years ago is now going to the Atlanta Falcons. Now, my thoughts on this is I am extremely upset. Now, you might say, well, why? We improved our secondary. He was kind of an odd man out. Yes, that is 100% true. We did improve. We did add a lot of top-tier talent to the roster. But we never gave him a fair shake. He was injured. He had the worst head coaching and coaching uh, in the National Football League with the Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia era. He's only been with Dan Campbell for only, what, two years? This will be going its third year? I mean, come on. Like, you never gave the third overall pick a, a, a fair shake at it. Come on. I'm extremely upset, but if you're an Atlanta Falcon fan, you are getting a dog. A dog that has not even tapped his potential in the National Football League. A dog that will shut down wide receivers. A dog that could win you a Super Bowl. That is Jeff Okuda. We never gave him, Lion fans, a fair shake. We did not want him. I did, because I got the pick right. But we didn't want him in Detroit because we wanted Justin Herbert. We wanted uh, the defensive tackle over there in in Carolina. We wanted this. We wanted that. We didn't want Jeff Okuda when Jeff Okuda was the right pick. He was the right pick because you lost Darius Slay because you had the worst coach in the National Football League and you had to replace him. Oh, you thought Desmond Trufant was the answer? I'm going off. I don't care right now. I am mad, and I'm going to show my frustrations. This is dog crap, and everybody should know that. A fifth-round pick for a third overall pick? It's not like a third-rounder for a fifth-rounder. This is the third overall pick for a fifth-rounder. Brad Holmes, wake up and smell the hummus. What are you doing? I'm okay with with TJ Hawkinson. I was a little upset. Okay, I was a lot upset. I, but I got over it. James Mitchell stepped up. Shane Zilstra stepped up. And so did Brock Wright step up. So three guys that stepped up for the loss of one player. I'm okay with that. You better have a plan in place. Whether that's Emmanuel Forbes from Mississippi State. Joey Porter Jr. Devon Witherspoon. Whoever. You better have a plan in place. This is a third overall pick. This is not like it's, you know, some third, fourth, even it, it, like it's not a Chase Lucas. This is a third overall pick. And you got a fifth rounder. Like I can understand, okay, hey, look. You can get a fourth round pick this year and in like 2025 or 2026, a first round pick. Or a second round pick. All right, cool. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. But to just say you here have him for a fifth rounder, and he still ain't even in his prime. You've got to be. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Hey, again, if you're an Atlanta Falcon finding this video and trying to find out who Jeff Okuda is, hey, you're getting a dog. Your team just got a lot better. As for the Detroit Lions, you better have a plan in place. You better have a plan in place because this right here could smell like so same old Lions. Even though I'm a brand new Lion type guy, I love what the direction we're doing. But this right here is a little fishy. This smells some like some rotted tuna. You don't want no rotted tuna. Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, you better have a plan in place. You better have a plan in place. If you have a plan in place, I will fully back this move up. If you do not have a plan in place, then what are you doing? This is a third overall pick. Yeah, he wasn't drafted under your, your watch. He was a Bob Quinn guy. But nobody is gave him a fair shake, not even the fans. And that's what gets me upset. I'm a Michigan Wolverine diehard. So for me to back an Ohio State guy says a lot about this guy's talent. Go blue, but still, you better have a plan in place, Brad. That's all I got to say, brother. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to help this channel get into the YouTube algorithm, consider clicking the subscribe button because it tells YouTube that you like the video and the content that you are watching. It might not be much, but it helps tremendously. Also, if you want to be a part of this growing community, Definitely consider clicking that subscribe button and the post notification bell button to all so you get notified as soon as I drop another Detroit Lions video. And we are on the road to 200 subscribers. Thank you so much in advance. And with that being said, love you all. I'll see you in the next video because grit don't quit. Hashtag one pride, baby. Peace.